Hello and welcome back. This is another video on the eye tracking exercises. I did the eyelid exercises in the previous video, a few of them which I'm consistently working on. That is opening, closing, <coughs> opening and closing and basing the eyelid opening or closing based on um, breathing or uh, the butterfly um, method and then half open, open, close, close, half open, open, all of those are the eyelid exercises. And uh, repeating myself again, my, myself uh, here, I want to, I can't say how important it is uh, to do all the eye exercises and, or the oromandibular exercises after meditation. Walk or dance, relax in Shavasana with your uh, feet relaxed and your fingers open then the meditation for about 30 minutes to one hour if you are able to do it that's awesome then comes all the exercises eye exercises now let's focus on the eye tracking exercises today so tracking exercises so if you see uh, on dr ferias's platform there are moving the ball left to right or right to left and then top to bottom or bottom to top I'm going reverse so these are the exercises for the tracking that you are seeing on Dr. Farias's platforms and those come with a sound <laughs> that gives me a tap 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 sound so that's that's good I initially uh, had worked on these but when i came out i still want to do tracking exercises because i am the kind of person who if i think of something to achieve something a goal i have to achieve it no matter what so i started to look at look for ways on how can i do tracking outside the computer because you cannot sit in front of the computer so long even if it is very important for you because i am i'm a software developer and i'm already sitting in front of the computer for eight hours and initially i used to sit uh, for the meditation after the meditation for these exercises for about one hour one and a half two hours so it was becoming more of uh, computer time uh, or screen time for me so i wanted to find ways outside as well so i used to sit in the sun like I told you, every every morning, uh, you sit in front of the sun. I was sitting in my backyard and I see a fence, fence uh, that is at least uh, 20 feet away from me. And the fence has these poles, right? So I used to focus on sitting in the sun. You know, this, you are, st you are uh, exposed to the sunlight as well, equally at the same time. So on the poles, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. You know the poles are equally placed or they have a top points uh, at the top of them. So you can just focus on those points on the on top of them. So this was actually giving me a tracking exercise to control my, uh, my uh, eyeball movement at the same time uh, work in the sun and not use the screen at all. Uh, so after some days when there was spring, there came squirrels. <laughs> so the squirrels used to uh, run around on the fence exactly. So there were three or four of them uh, in the backyard and they used to run. So I used to track the squirrels. So they were just going and running around on the fence. So not this is just an example how I was using my environment you can have different environment just be creative come up with anything that is moving around in your house or around your house or in the park at your workplace just work on that so my my son is a very very active uh, person he just cannot stand still and he's always continuously moving that like that while walking and i sit in front of him while he's moving like that and i just try to look on look into his eyes and that was also giving me a kind of uh, tracking my eyelids exercise. So just be creative and come up with any kind of exercise that you can come on, 
coming to the up and down if you see the blinds in your house you have the blinds uh, from top to bottom bottom to top so i look at each each blind one at a time one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve 13, 14, 15, 16. Sometimes when I'm trying to do, my eyes used to close shut. It's okay. Take a deep breath and get back to your exercise. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. So this is the kind of uh, tracking exercises that I was doing using the fences and blinds and my kids. Um, coming to the vision exercise so you are also losing control over your vision if something is rapidly moving uh, you are losing track of it so uh, i mean your eyes closed shut because you are not able to adjust to those changes or when you are sitting in the car you are not able to adjust to the fast moving objects outside so how do i how did i deal with that I slowly started with uh, the ten table tennis because you have to track the ball coming and going, coming and going. Then uh, we used to play catch and throw. When the ball is going, you track it. Sometimes I used to close my eyes and it used to come onto my uh, face. So, but still, you are trying to track it outside the outside the. Uh, screen time and outside in the play in the park in the sun uh, this is also keeping you positive uh, and in in the, in outside in the sun I cannot tell you how much positive energy you will get in the sun that keeps you going uh, the other uh, tracking exercise tracking and vision exercise uh, mixed that I used to do is when you sit in the car, you see the trees moving around or poles moving around. So I focus on one tree and the tree slowly goes. And then I focus on this side and the tree goes back and the pole and the pole on this side. So these are the kind of exercises that I was working on outside. Then coming to the light sensitivity. I was extremely sensitive to the light when uh, I was okay in my own room with all the blinds closed and uh, sitting in the dark. But when I come outside, it was that, it was that. It was very difficult for me to keep my eyes open for the sun. Uh, I used to wear my sunglasses and then still have spasms in the eyes, still have the eyes closed. So uh, one day, I think um, one of the friends on the on Dr. Ferias' platform mentioned that don't shy away from the sun, keep yourself open. Uh, face it, face it if you are having a difficulty, face it and challenge it. And so that's what I've decided to do. I stopped using my sunglasses and evenings when I go to the park for walking, uh, after the walk, I just used to sit on the bench and I used to close, keeping my eyes open, I used to close open close open close open that is you are exposing the sunlight onto your eyes and still making it feel you can do it so close sometimes it used to be close shut then i take the help of breathing and open then again close then open close open that was the light sensitivity then uh, i also mentioned the sun gazing so you have the sun in the mornings keep gazing at it not exactly the sun but at least two inches above the sun and the sun rays actually pass through your uh, eyes and pupils sun is actually a healer a natural healer for the human bodies so anything any kind of ailment diseases you have sun can heal just trust me on this and go with the sun gazing early in the mornings when there is a sunrise or in the evenings when the uv just check your uv index in your uh, uh, area and then go sun gaze then after this the light sensitivity then comes the stimulation so if you see dr uh, feyas's educational videos he he his, he mentions 
that the connections between the nerves and the muscles are cut the connections are cut it is not reaching uh, even if there is uh, some uh, stimulation some uh, muscles i mean some uh, signals being sent they are not reaching the brain or even if brain is sending some signals they are not reaching the muscles so he asks you to massage your uh, your uh, eyes uh, like that or massage your face muscles outside you can do all of those massaging uh, i used to do it every morning and evening uh two to three minutes before i go to bath i both morning and evening uh then after the massage then when i come out i used to apply this is actually a lip balm but i used to apply for above my eyelids because uh that gives a a sensation of uh, this is used for choppy choppy lips uh it gives a sensation of something is happening so you continuously feel that i have the eyelids so it is sending signals to the brain that there is something i have the eyelids and they can be open i have the eyelids they can be open so it is continuously telling your brain that uh i have the muscles that are not being used and i want to use them uh try it i have tried it and it always worked for me um and it works for a long time for a very long time you keep feeling the eyelids um uh, a, sen a tingling sensation on the eyelids and that was consciously reminding my brain uh, that i have to work on this i have to i have to work on the muscles i have to work on these eyelids and that's about the stimulation and next is the vagus nerve stimulation vagus nerve stimulation you can um, it is actually if you are stimulating the vagus nerve it is actually putting you into instant relaxed mode uh, how do you do that uh, so there are two ways if you are breathing through your nose or mouth after meditation try this when try how try to see or observe how the breathing is going and touching uh, how it is passing through the throat so that's where that's somewhere that's exactly where your uh, vagus nerve uh, is located and when you are uh, inhaling or exhaling the breath actually touches the vagus nerve and that stimulating it touching it through the breathing is actually putting you into relaxed mode the second way of doing it is yawning when you are yawning what is happening exactly your body is getting ready to relax in the nights so it doesn't have to be in the nights if you have to feel relaxed to you can do you can manually yawn in the mornings also so when you are trying to yawn you are actually manually stimulating the vagus nerve and i don't know if many of you noticed or any of you noticed this at all you are you are not able to get tears in your eyes when you are yawning i observed this after i started the yawning exercise because yawning exercise brings tears into your eyes um so try this this vagus nerve stimulation exercises also which will put you into relaxed state uh i hope all of these exercises help you uh and continue to work on it and keep meditating and i wish good luck for all of you prayers to all thank you bye